I'm a, I'm a laugher. When someone asks me what business I'm in, I'm, uh, I'm embarrassed. Um, I envy people who can say, I'm a bricklayer, I'm a writer, I'm a barber. The simplicity of their answers doesn't need a lengthy explanation while I'm forced to reply to questions like, um, are you really a laugher? Of course, admission of this demands another question. Is that how you make your living? Do you, uh, mind if I smoke? Truthfully, yes. I actually do make a living off my laughing, and a good one too. Commercially speaking, it's uh, high in demand. I'm pretty experienced in the field of laughing, and um, I've pioneered many new facets that a decade ago could only be imagined. None of my other colleagues really can compare to me. And I'm not trying to be conceited, but it's the truth. I command the finer points of the art. But don't get me wrong. I haven't always realized my knack. Like most, I started from humble beginnings. Early on in my career, I defined myself as an actor. Oh my God. But my oh talented God. mime and elocution were meager to say the least. I couldn't even put food on the table to feed my family. But I felt like I was lying to myself. Being an actor couldn't be further from the truth. And I love the truth. And the truth is, I'm a laugher. I'm not a clown, nor a comedian. I don't make people laugh. I merely portray laughing. It's a skill that I've acquired. It's like um, riding a bike. When I first discovered Stan, he wasn't really experienced in laughing. He knew only a few genres of the art. <laughs> I remember he used to try so hard to put actions with his laughter. I asked him one day, I said, Stan, what the hell are you doing? And he said, Jim, I'm just not getting it. Then I said, think about it. What is the message you're trying to convey? Are you trying to make the audience laugh? Or are you trying to tell them what to think? I really think that's the moment his career took off. I laugh on records. I laugh on tape. I laugh on television. Directors treat me with the utmost respect. Because honestly, where else are you going to find someone that can laugh with all my style? I can laugh mournfully, moderately, hysterically. I can laugh like a streetcar driver, like a doorman, like a doctor. I can laugh in the morning, noon, and night. Long story short, if there's a when and how to laugh, I can do it. One of my recent developments is the Nueva Art of the Infectious Laugh. You probably haven't heard of it yet, because it's still underground. But it's beginning to make my talents a precious resource to third and fourth rate comedians who are scared, and with good reason, that their audiences are going to miss their punchlines. So, I spend most of my evenings in nightclubs, acting as the great clacks before me to bridge the stronger parts of the program, and to mask the weaker ones. The secret is to not come in too boisterous, too soon, or too late. I have to laugh at exactly the right spot, the prearranged moment. If I do it right, the moment I burst out laughing, the audience, like lambs to the slaughter, will roar in accordance. The joke is saved. 
I mean, so we said 15 laps, 2.30? 17 laps. There's 15 jokes, 15 punchlines. I laughed 17 times. So, I'll get paid for 17. I told you there was, there was two times, there was two punchlines that were together. 17. It was the same thing. Seven. You one, one joke. Team. How much? 256. I only got paid 300 for the whole thing. But, um... I haven't always been able to handle my success. I hit rock bottom in um, 2008. I took up um, binge drinking and um, cocaine recreationally, uh, just to cope with the long nights. I, uh, I just couldn't handle the pressure of having to impress everyone and keep my wife happy. So, February of 2008, I was arrested on charges of domestic abuse. Well, as I said, day after day and um, night after night, I was just dragging myself to work, and um, the days would just blur together. I would drag myself from the studio, only to return home to have some message about some last minute gig. And uh, a few hours later, I would just be back on the bus. Demoning my fate. In the first part of his career, Stan was kind of a loose cannon. He was either working hard or hardly working. I don't think you realize how, um, he had access to money and recognition. So anything he wanted, he got. His fame went straight Five. to his head. Couldn't tell him anything. I mean, I love the guy to death. He was like my brother. It's so hard to see him like that. I mean... I'm sorry. Stan really did push himself too hard. Um, he'd be in the studio for 12 hours a day He'd only come home to have a beer and do a line. And then he'd head back to the studio again at night. He never ate. He never slept. All he did was work. During the first years of our marriage, I'd, I'd tell him to laugh more often. It was, it was unhealthy how he never even smiled. As soon as it began, our marriage was already ending. Well, when I'm off duty, I never really have the urge to laugh. Uh, the bricklayer is happy to forget the mortar. I'm sure there are carpenters out there who have squeaky doors or busted gutters at home. Likewise, when uh, I'm home, I just like to relax my tense facial muscles and just just be calm. Be calm. 
Unfortunately, now other people's laughter gets on my nerves since uh, it reminds me too much of my profession. So, uh, our marriage is a quite peaceful one now since my wife has also forgotten how to laugh. And now I'm three years sober. Now and again, I, uh, I catch her smiling and I, I smile too. We, uh, we converse in low tones because, uh, because I hate the noise of nightclubs and the noise that sometimes fills the recording studios. People who don't know me think I'm reserved. Perhaps I am. Maybe because I have to open my mouth so often just to laugh. I go through life with an impassive expression and from time to time I'll I'll permit myself a gentle smile. And I've often wondered whether um whether I've ever really laughed. I think not. Um, my brothers and sisters always knew me for a uh, serious boy, and um, so I laugh in many different ways, but my own laughter I've never heard. <laughs> 